This is the image that you've seen everywhere for the past few days. And this is what NASA said about it. Explanation. Um, so this very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars. There it is. They found aliens. Everything you know about the world and human history is fake. It has always been a big lie and they just can't hide it anymore. Yeah, no, that's not what's happening. You see, in 2020, they launched the Perseverance rover that landed eight months later in this area of Mars called the Jezero Crater. The goal? Quite literally to find signs of life. You see, this crater was believed to have water in the past due to its topography and how much it resembled the river deltas here on Earth. So if they wanted to have a shot at finding any possible signs of life, this was a pretty good starting point. And that's where they spotted this thing. No idea what you're looking at? Yeah, me neither. But I did some research. You see, this rock showed what they're calling odd leopard spots. That made scientists say, hey, that's weird. Let's have a look at that. And they even released this image to the public a year ago when they first found it. And after a year of doing as much testing as you can from 216 million miles away, they came to the conclusion that these were iron minerals like divianite and Greekite plus organic carbon combinations, which here on Earth often show up where microbes interacted with organic matter. It's kind of what life leaves after its meal, you know? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Microbial poop, is that what you want to call yes. it? Yes. <laughs> which leads them to believe that this could be the proof of life that we've been looking for decades. Now, Despite what you might see on a lot of headlines, this unfortunately is still not a definitive sign of life on Mars. I mean, don't get me wrong, we all want it to be, it would be incredibly exciting and a world changing discovery. But it is for this reason that scientists are being cautious and making sure that they're not overlooking potential alternative explanations. Why? Well, those minerals and textures might look like signs of microbes, but they could also be formed without any life at all. So how do we move forward? Well. The first thing you need to know is that NASA will continue to do on-site tests with the tools that Perseverance has on board. Think of it as paleontology from a distance. And scientists will continue to compare these spots to the rocks found here on Earth, where microbes left similar mineral signatures. Just like paleontologists compare fossils for context to decide if a bone is really a bone or is just a rock that kind of looks like a bone. But the biggest and most important thing that we need to do is to bring those samples back to Earth so that scientists here can conduct all the tests that they need to do in order to give us certainty of what they found. And how are we going to bring them home? Well, NASA has a mission called the Mars Sample Return Mission that has gone through some replanning because of cost and complexity, but it's currently expected to return these samples back to Earth between the 2030s and the 2040s. Although if I'm being honest, I'm hoping that the recent discoveries change that timeline to be a little bit sooner, but we'll see about that. We all know that they have Artemis 2 and Artemis 3 coming up. But why so much caution? Because that's just how science works. The scientific process consists of proposing a hypothesis and then putting it through a series of tests that allows us to reach a conclusion. And then that gets published. And if another scientist wants to do a test or to prove that something was wrong or that they left a variable out of their initial test, they're welcome to do so. As a matter of fact, NASA is inviting other scientists to do that with this image and the data that they collected from this sample. After our announcement last year, the peer-reviewed publication is the next step in the scientific process, and it allows Na NASA to make the data that we collected from this mission and the science team's interpretation of that data sort of available to the broader science community for further and wider so, study. Where do we stand? Well, although NASA didn't really admit that aliens exist, they did show us that a rock on Mars could potentially trace back to life. It's not proof, but it is a clue and it might be the clearest clue that we've ever seen. What we ultimately find about that rock could change how we explore other planets and probably even how we see ourselves because if Mars had life and lost it, what does that say about Earth's own future? The truth is, science might move slowly, but every announcement like this brings us closer to answering the big question, are we alone in the universe? Thank you for watching another episode of The Thinking Path. See you next time.